Do you guys see snow outside? 50% of you, well, there's probably not 50% of the people uh, in the southern it. hemisphere. It makes sense. But there are people who are experiencing snow this season. So we're making a cocktail, and it's called Christmas in July. And it's green. Like a tree. Since Christmas is red and green. Right. Anyway. This episode is brought to you by our fans. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. You guys are like the grenadine in our tequila sunrise. Without you, we just have alcoholic orange juice. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Christmas in July. This recipe was submitted by 7187. That's actually some combination of letters and spelling out um, letters and numbers. It's weird. Um, so 7187 submitted this, garnishbar.com. One and a half ounces of Midori, a half ounce of Hypnotic, a half ounce of coconut rum, a half ounce of blue curacao, so lots of halves and half knots, and an ounce of lemonade, a half ounce of orange juice, maraschino cherries. And the reason we had the cherries going on is we want to be able to g give the uh, impression of like red, red and green combinations, and those would be like the Christmas balls, I'm guessing, if it was a tree. Uh, I don't really know if that's true, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna put it in a column glass. That's it. Shake, shake, strain, add cherries, drink it like it's Christmas in July. Yeah. So I'm gonna start with the juices first. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use that spoon later. Half ounce OJ, that's hip hop for orange juice. Um, in my old wrapping days when I wore my Z calves and my... No, I, I really don't know what I'm talking about. Whoa! We're gonna contaminate our lemonade a little bit because I, I might have got a little out of control. It happens. Midori. An ounce and a half. What does that mean? That means we've got a super sweet little drink coming right up. Is that thing making an error? My, I think my laptop's also making noise. It's hot up here. Coconut rum, half ounce. Boo -doo 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 -doo. So that you're gonna get more of a clear, but you've already got your green established. Now we're gonna bring in some blue. We've got, we've got a weird plastic there. Half ounce of the hypnotic. Now, I'm not quite sure if, if this is for flavor or color. I'm going to say flavor since it did not do anything for the color. And the blue curacao, a half ounce. There we go. It's even got a little bit of a, a orange peelness going on That's in that drink. That's not quite Christmas tree, but. That's completely Christmas tree. Christmas tree is much darker green. That's a cool color, but yeah. But once you once you shake it, and the micro bubbles come in. I think it's gonna get faded. Watch, watch and learn. All right. I'm using my uh, partita shaker. It's it's not nearly as fancy, but it was like right there because we were testing some stuff. So I got this shaker. I know a lot of folks out there looking for Boston shakers, having difficulties going, where are you getting all these cool shakers? Whoa! Nobody saw that? All right, now, I'm thinking, I'll put in the maraschino cherries in a minute. See, look, it's lightened up. Oh, yeah. Now, the, sh the photo on Garnish Bar is really neat, so I don't think I can reproduce that. But I'm going to give it my, my all. Hopefully I can get these all to land at different levels. And give it a holiday feel. It's supposed to look like Christmas, tastes like summer. What do you think? Is that is that looking like Christmas? i got to get this one further down. How's that? They really only have two places to go. To the top or they fall to the bottom so that one stuck in the middle there until i move or take a sip then it's yeah. going to slide through the ice it looks good if you just take the photo and position them um, realistically you're going to get what you're going to get and you can't get upset that is the christmas in july you've got the green it's kind of even, now it's getting dark again as the bubbles are dissipating 
and you've got the red. You don't have to go crazy if you just want to garnish it with three cherries, one cherry, 150 cherries all lined up in the bottom. Do what you really think you want to do, and that's just how that's how you can roll. There you go. Just give it a sip. Oh, it tastes like summer because it's sweet, yet it has that lemonade feel, lightness of lemonade, coconut. Even get some hypnotic at the tail end. Nothing really for the blue curacao. You're gonna have a. a it's really gonna be for color for this. So if you don't want to use, like, let's say you have another blue curacao that's cheap, like nine dollars. I would probably use that over an expensive one if you, if you only if you have a, a selection of them. Only because it's gonna it's it's doing something for the color. But realistically for the flavor, you've got the orange juice, so you're getting that citrus. So I don't know which way it's coming from. If it's coming from the sour from the lemonade, if it's coming from the actual orange juice or, or that. So do what you want with that. Other than that, sweet lemonade. So balance on the sweet side of the lemonade, which I don't think is that unacceptable. But that, my friends, is the Christmas in July. This is going to be released on July 31st, I think. The last day, we have 31 days in July? Yes. Yes, so 31 days, so it'll be the last one. I had to get it in before, otherwise I'd have to do Christmas in July and August, and that's just weird, so I didn't want to do that. Question of the day, how many of you listening right now have to deal with snow right now? Or at least frigid, cold, disgusting wintertime? Because wintertime blows. Nobody wants wintertime, right? No, skiers want wintertime. Yes, there you go. So there, winter cocktail for your summertime. EverydayDrinkers.tv or you can head over to EverydayDrinkers.com because they go to the exact same place. We are teaching you how to drink.